This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. If I wanted, you know, just as an indie journalist to go in and, and you know, randomly videotape some of what's going on in classrooms, you know, and see how the kids are being taught, how difficult or easy would it be for me to do? It would be very difficult. American government schools. When it comes to filming them, they might as well be on the wrong side of the Berlin Wall. At the same time, it seems like not a week goes by when you don't hear a story on Free Talk Live about an abuse of students. An abuse that really needs to be videotaped. That's the way to help it end. Well, the fact is, maybe one problem can help solve the other. The ban on cameras can help students who are suffering in other ways. The fact is, in most government schools, it's not an out-and-out -out ban on cameras. It's just a ban on using them. Most kids can bring a cell phone into their schools. To stop them from doing this would be to isolate these students from communication during an emergency. So I'm always shocked when I hear these, the latest, you know, abuse of a student, the latest uh, crackdown on a student that's inappropriate, and there's no video, not a frame to show for it. The student has never, it's never occurred to him or his family to whip out his cell phone and just record what they're doing to him or what they're saying to him. The kids usually probably don't do it because it's forbidden. The camera would be swiped out of their hands in many cases. But this is the beauty of videography and why government schools fear it so much. I'm going to ask you to put it down for me. I'm going to respectfully decline. I am audio taping this time. All right. Why don't you step over here? We're in the King District Court. We're upstairs. We're going to be arrested. Get some videotaping in the lobby. When you lose with a camera rolling, you win. If the video survives to become public, some of the abuse you suffered is proven. If the authorities snatch the camera and the video doesn't survive, they show themselves to be thieves. They change the debate from school confiscates pocket knife to school destroys evidence school blinds viewers school swipes camera that sort of thing that camera might not save the student it might get her into more trouble initially but it should give her some ethical high ground she wouldn't have had if she had kept the camera in her pocket Whipping out that camera forces the authorities to pick between censorship and openness. Whichever one they prove, or whichever one they choose, you win, as long as the public is well informed of what happened. So, I'm reluctant to tell you what to do with your kids, and I know the results could be unpredictable, but if I had youngsters... I would train them from the earliest possible age how to break out the camera and use it. Okay. And also, I, I'd rather not be uh, video and uh, audio recorded. So, okay. So I'd like to shut that off right now. I'd rather not. And, you know, what to say. We, we would do drills. I would practice with them. I'd pretend to be the bad teacher. I would probably instruct them not to follow, I'm sorry, I would probably instruct them to follow most uh, of teachers' instructions, but to never hand the camera over voluntarily and never delete footage voluntarily. If they're going to do it, make them do it themselves. That way they look worse. Officer Murphy, do you feel the uh, force you used on Frank was uh, necessary? I have no comment. You can talk to the, the patrol captain. Are you being investigated for it, or is he? Talk to Lieutenant Legacy. The trick which one of the Manchester students used, which again, almost no student ever does this, but uh, not only did he get video of an abuse, not only did his video survive, but uh, when the authorities told him to delete it, he tricked them into thinking he had deleted it. Now that's, that's one thing I think is totally appropriate. Um, there is a war on our kids, and when you're at war, uh, was it Sun Tzu said, war is the way of deception. You have to use deception sometimes. Even a Christian will agree with you on this if you actually take them to the wall on the issue. Um, 
there was a <clears throat> case I know where a, a Christian relative was telling me, um, uh, you know, despite the, the there was you know, obviously this commandment, thou shalt not lie. But they were talking to me about a movie they saw called The Killing Fields, and they were just glowing and waxing over this one scene where a, um, I think it's a, you know, there's someone who tricks the Khmer Rouge uh, in Cambodia, the bad guys, into thinking that some Americans are actually Frenchmen, so they let them go. Something like that. Um, that's lying. That's trickery. And yet, my Christian relative thought it was just great. Um, and the fact is, there are circumstances where deception is completely appropriate. It's better than using violence against the authorities. We've ruled that out, so we need to use the other techniques to their fullest. If someone's trying to use violence against you, which government school people are, if they're trying to make you delete something, then you get to do pretty much anything back, except, I think, in the government case, you don't use violence back against the government because it just it doesn't work in terms of PR. But um, if you want to see a good video that I think shows a good example of how to handle someone trying to get you to turn your camera off or delete your video or take your camera, I think the best one to look at might be the one where Candia cops in New Hampshire arrest the young Cooper Travis. Uh, I should have an annotation appearing below now. So, if you're uh, worried about this constant panic that seems to be going on in government schools in reaction to Sandy Hook, if you're worried about the constant freaking out over toy guns and the stealing of butter knives and the suspension of students for making a gun with their finger, if you want to, you want to keep that kind of thing from happening to your student or make sure that you get the, the uh, best results out of it happening, then I think that's probably the answer is... Uh, the camera. Oh, and uh, maybe it's worth getting an account where the student can uh, actually upload their video live. That way, if and when the camera is snatched out of the student's hand, then at least the video survives. Quick.com and Livestream.com, I believe, have uh, some options for this. This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.